Oh, how a lovely day can be ruined by something as simple and essential as water. And oh, how sweet it is to be a cloud with no silver linings, only liquid daggers raining down on the citizens of Seattle. Hey guys, it's Cody with Indie Game Pulse. If you want to find the newest and best indie games and hear genuine reviews from an indie game fanatic like yourself, click subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss another video. Thank you to the developer for giving me a review copy of the game. Alright, enough waxing eloquent, let's get right into this one. Rain on Your Parade is a single player 2D slash 3D adventure where the main characters are two dimensional and made out of cardboard, but in a similar style to that of Paper Mario. And the worlds you explore and wreak havoc on are in 3D, as are the citizens of Seattle, who also closely resemble Sackboy, even being made of yarn. These similarities are not direct ripoffs, but the game does use a plethora of meta references that will continually surprise you as your adventure continues. There is somewhat of a dual story here as a father tells his son the goodnight story of Cloudy, and then you play the story of Cloudy as he adventures throughout the land and wages war against Dr. Dryspell while making some new friends along the way. However, I felt like the father and son story was a little tacked on and that it kind of distracted from the actually hilarious gameplay in Cloudy's world. When you're in Cloudy's world, traveling from level to level 50 and all, there is so much to discover, so much to accomplish, and it never gets stale. The outer layer, the father-son story, seems to serve more as a segue into new powers and storylines, but that's about all it did for me. So let's go back to Cloudy's world, where we'll spend the rest of this review. In each level, there are certain tasks you must complete in order to progress to the next stage, and often there are extra steps which will, if all completed, unlock a new cosmetic item. These tasks range from simply raining on everyone in the area, to gathering 200 grocery items into a shopping cart, to blowing up a chemistry kit. The developer has done a great job mixing in so much variety into the levels, while also slowly introducing new mechanics as the game continues, like dropping snow or creating a tornado. Each power-up that you gain is mapped to a different button on the right hand of your controller, and you steer your cloud with the left analog stick. These are very simple controls, and there's no manual camera movement, so this could be a great game for casual or beginner gamers, even. The different power-ups that you gain, like Snow and Tornado, they're not always useful in each level, but they are always funny to play around with. Along with these standard power-ups, you can also find new liquid sources around many of the maps, such as flammable oil to create even more chaos. And this is how the game continues, clearing stage after stage, trying your best to get every check mark so that you can also look your best. This is another area of the game where I had a lot of fun, and that is the character creation. For a while, I went with this Rockstar look in hopes to deliver some purple rain, but ultimately ended up with this Lumberjack look that just suited me well. There are tons of cosmetic options to collect by fully completing each stage, and I went back to my dressing room so many times to try out different combinations. You can equip different hats, accessories, and change the color of your cloud. If you can't tell, you can also draw the face on your cloud, which is fantastic. I went with more of a meme face and never looked back. It's just a funny thought to be looking up at the clouds, and then you see this one roll in and you know you're in trouble. Creativity truly abounds in this game, and it's obvious that while it was surely a lot of work to create this over the last two years, the developers also had a really good time building the world and locations. I mentioned that the game is pretty filled with meta references earlier, and they are very well done. This is a minor spoiler alert, really just one level. I don't want to spoil more of them because a lot of the fun is in deciphering which pop culture icon the game is having a laugh at, but I especially enjoyed the office sequence, where you as a cloud go from being an intern and filling every mug with coffee, to causing Kevin to drop his pot of chili, and then to starting a fire. Ryan started the fire! It was always burning since the world been turning! Ryan started the fire! Literally that song was running through my head that whole time. The level is even laid out with care, just like the office set. It is attention to detail like this that really makes me smile and shows that the developers cared enough to put in the extra effort. Overall guys, the game is $14.99 US dollars at regular price, and I played it in about 3 hours. There is a New Game Plus mode once you complete the game, which adds more difficulty options as well as extra achievements to reach on each level. 
As I mentioned earlier, I really enjoyed the mix of 2D and 3D art, and there is a lot of variety in the levels, including some very thematic and some spooky stages even. Some with the main purpose just to scare the people in them, which I thought was hilarious. I didn't encounter any graphical problems throughout my time playing. The soundtrack, in my opinion, was pretty average throughout the game, but there were times when it really struck me, and I think those were more in the stages where meta-references were obvious. There's one fantasy-themed level where the tone of the music changes so starkly you can't help but notice, and there were probably 10 or so other levels that I experienced this on, and I quite enjoyed it. The development team has done a really nice job imitating other genres and themes to set the mood, sometimes even before you've discovered what the stage is about. So while I probably won't listen to the soundtrack outside of the game, it served its purpose masterfully in the game. So the question is, should you play Rain on your parade? I recommend it. I personally love the variety and creativity of indie games, and Rain on your parade in itself is filled with variety and creativity. From the differing levels and well-executed references, to the charming creatures, to the sometimes meta but always clever cosmetics, Cloudy's world is filled to the brim and flowing over with charming features and moments that will keep you laughing for hours. Pick this one up on PC, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One, including Game Pass on day one, on April 15th. If you've enjoyed this review and want to find more great indie games coming soon, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss another review or countdown. That's going to do it guys, thank you very much to my 566 subscribers for your support and I look forward to getting to know more of you soon. For more top indie game countdowns and reviews, check out the videos on your screen now and I'll see you on the other side.